Following the order of operations in this problem, we'll begin inside of our parentheses. We have two of them, so we can begin inside either of the parentheses. If we look at 6 minus 8, we'll want to change the subtraction to plus a negative. So we'll have 6 plus negative 8. Since they are opposite signs, we'll take the difference between them, which is 2, and since the negative 8 has a larger absolute value, it will be a negative 2. And we'll leave the exponent until the next step. With the second parenthesis, 5 minus 7 becomes 5 plus negative 7. And in this case, taking 5 and negative 7, they are opposite signs, so we take the difference, which is 2. The negative 7 has the larger absolute value, so we attach the negative sign here. And then we'll be ready to raise it to the third power. At this point, we have different choices. We could take the negative 2 and square it, raising it the exponent of 2 and take the negative 2 and cube it, raising it to the exponent of 3. If we do that, then we'll finish with the multiplication between those two results. So looking at that, negative 2 squared means negative 2 times negative 2. And two negatives make a positive, and 2 times 2 is 4, so that gives us positive 4. If we have a negative 2 to the third power, that means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That's three negatives. An odd number of negatives is negative and 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so we're left with negative 8. At this point, then, we have the product of positive 4 and negative 8. A positive times a negative is negative. 4 times 8 is 32, so our answer is negative 32.